Vivek Ramaswamy's assertion that the government is to blame for the issues in Springfield taps into a broader public anxiety about policies, particularly around immigration. Many view mass immigration, often perceived as unchecked, as a threat to national stability, economic resources, and community cohesion. Good to meet you, man. Uh, yes, sir. So I, my question is, I'll make it short and sweet. Um, I've been here for 35 years uh, here in Springfield, Ohio. Uh, as you guys, I'm a full-blown Trump supporter. I'm a full believer that he's the man that's going to save us. Um, do you currently think right now that the current administration is the reason we're having all this trouble currently here in Springfield, Ohio? <laughs> I do, actually. I, I really do. And, and that's... And that's actually, and that's actually probably the number one most important policy takeaway here. You know, I think I think if you're going to run for public office at the local level or at the state level, you got to be ready to take the heat. All right, if you can't handle the heat, stay out of the kitchen. And I do think that criticism at every level is fair. But if you want to understand where I think the real problem is, I don't think Houdini himself, as a magician, could have fixed a problem in Springfield if you have federal policies that are permitting millions of illegals and stretch the law to make them legals entering this country and dumping them into cities like this one. It'd be like the equivalent of sending 2 million additional people to New York City. Can you imagine that? That's the effect of sending 20,000 people to Springfield. That's a direct result of those federal policies. And again, you don't always have a chance to change it. But this time, in about 50 days, you actually do. And it's time that we actually use our chance to do it. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. By invoking the federal policy of allowing millions of illegals to enter Ramaswamy channels the public's unease over border security and the strain such immigration places on local communities. His comparison of Springfield's situation to New York City underscores the fear that an influx of immigrants is overwhelming smaller towns, disproportionately affecting them in ways that mirror national concerns. The mention of Trump supporters and the belief that Trump is the man that's going to save us reflects a conservative mindset that sees strong leadership as essential to addressing what they perceive as failures of the current administration. Figures like Donald Trump and Vivek Ramaswamy, who promise bold action, embody a style of governance that prioritizes American sovereignty, values, and economic security. The residents' concerns revolve around understanding the root causes of Springfield's troubles and seeking a path forward. Ramaswamy seizes this moment, pointing the finger at the federal government, offering the residents a clear scapegoat for their frustration. This also taps into a deeper psychological need for validation. Ramaswamy positions himself as someone who not only hears their concerns, but shares their values, fostering a sense of connection. By aligning himself with the community's worries and providing simple, direct answers, he builds a sense of trust. A key element in political dialogue, especially when people feel disconnected from current leadership. 